Hey guys, Techman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to go around the issue of air loading uh, tap to download on YouTube. So what happened was YouTube recently made some changes and YouTube is not working, unfortunately, on the older iOSs. So in this video, we're going to be showing you guys how to get around this and what you can do to fix this issue. As we did show you guys how to download apps by using an account like the one that you have, we have signed in on a newer device. And then once you download it there, it will come up in this purchases section so you can download it whenever you are having an issue where it's a compatibility issue. But recently in the last couple of weeks, a lot of you guys have been asking, you know, you're getting this issue and YouTube isn't working. And unfortunately, there's, there's not too much option right now. There's only two things we can do. First thing to solve this is actually going ahead and jailbreaking your iPad. So breaking jailbreaking isn't bad. It's just that it requires a little bit of effort and you have to do a couple things and that will allow you to change the actual uh, list so that, that YouTube is able to load up that page when it sends the request for the content. So that method is a little bit you know, it's a little bit time consuming. It takes a little bit more time. You have to understand how jailbreaking works and a lot more. But maybe another way you can help you guys fix it is this workaround. Sort of not the greatest, but what happens is YouTube actually works on your Safari browser. So what we do is on when you go to Saf open up Safari, we're going to go ahead and go to YouTube. So once we go to YouTube, it's going to ask us to open it on the actual page. We're going to say cancel here. Uh, let's try again. Actually, we're going to go ahead and try it again here. And we want to get to the YouTube page here. As you can see here, this is iPad mini one, so it's a little bit slower, but you eventually get to YouTube and it's going to work whenever you click on a video. As you can see, it's working. And we want to do is create a shortcut. So to create a shortcut on the actual home screen, we're going to click on that arrow up looking here. So if you see right here, there's a that square or so with the arrow up, we're going to click on that. Once we click on that, as you see here, you can click on that. It's going to give us more options here. And what we're going to do is add to home screen. We're going to click on add to home screen. And then here you can just keep it the way it is. Or if you want to name it, right, name of the app, we're just going to delete home. You don't have to delete that home. You can just simply hit that add button. And what this will do is create another app called YouTube, but it's creating a shortcut to fire off Safari whenever you click on it. So because the regular YouTube uh, app actually doesn't work, is we're going to go ahead and hold and press and then delete that X here, delete it. And now we have a YouTube app, sort of, but it's sort of like a shortcut to the actual YouTube site here. It's going to always ask you to get the app, but as we know, the app isn't working. And now we're able to go ahead and browse on YouTube and get around this problem where it wasn't loading. So this is the only simple solution or workaround to that issue of not being able to load the actual app. And we hope this solution helps you guys. We're going to be doing possibly one for you guys around the jailbreaking method, which we know it's going to be a lot more effort and more have to be a little bit more tech savvy to do that. But this method is a quick solution for you guys looking to get YouTube on an older iPad that you're not able to download. This method will work on iPad, iPhone, any other Apple devices that you're having the issue. So hopefully this was helpful. If this was helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.